Here on Earth, there are 10,000 plant species that are known to man. But only 150 of them are cultivated. And did you know that only 4 of those 150 plant species constitute 50% of man's energy source? They are? First, yes, you guys are right. It's rice or rice sativa. The staple food of the Philippines. Second is wheat or triticum aestivum. Third is corn or zea maize. And fourth is potato or solanum tuberosum. But for the 500 million people in more than 30 countries from the semi-arid tropics, they would not agree with these statistics for they have a different staple food. And that is... Mm-hmm. You guys have read it right. It is sorghum. Or more scientifically known as sorghum by color. Now let's try to dig deeper to what sorghum really is. First, it belongs to the grass family Graminea or Pumaceae, which means that some of its relatives include corn, wheat, and barley. Next, sorghum is an upright, short-day summer annual with flat blades, rigid stems, and they are morphologically similar with corn. That's why they are oftentimes mistaken and confused as maize. Just to contrast, Sorghum differs in maize in its leaf area because they are relatively more slender and smoother compared to maizes. Sorghum also has many uses. It is oftentimes processed to become food products like sugar, flour, and also malted beverages. Mmm, yum! It's also a good source of animal feed. Apart from that, sorghum's nutritional value is so exceptional its high protein content sets it above rice and even corn. Also, it is a good source of energy. The question is, do we produce sorghum in the country? The answer is yes. The production of sorghum in the Philippines in the past few years is relatively low compared to the other crops in the year 1980s. The country has high production of more than 30,000 metric tons, but as the year 2000 above approaches, the production has been lowered down to more than less than 1,000 metric tons. How about the arable land? Same goes for the arable land dedicated to sorghum. The trend of production per hectare of sorghum with respect to time is increasing, in which in 1994, the production for more than 100 hectare of land is more or less 10 tons. But today, the production per more than the 100 hectare is about 500 tons. How efficient is our sorghum production? In year 1997 to 1998, Philippines experienced agricultural growth of 0.4%, hampered by severe drought brought by El Nino, which extremely minimized the production of sorghum. Recent years, the demand on sorghum is continuously increasing due to rise of industry sectors on bioethanol and other products such as sweet sorghum vinegar and seeds for animals. Are we great consumers of sorghum? Not really, but the trend is generally increasing. And now, we are utilizing 15,000 metric tons of sorghum. Where do we get our supplies? The Philippines is a heavy importer of sorghum. In 1997, the country imports only 1,000 metric tons, and it is generally increasing as the years are passing. The highest was recorded in 1999, in which 60,000 metric tons were imported. This is due to the climatic factors happened in the past few years. In the current year, the country imports about 15,000 metric tons of sorghum. This means that the country is heavily dependent on the imports to meet the demand in sorghum. What does the government do? First, germplasm collection and plant breeding. Collaboration between International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics and the Philippines led the cultivation, utility, and research initiation of sweet sorghum. Some steps ICRISET has taken was sending off a total of 1,100 lines for testing and the introduction of 17 sweet sorghum cultivars. Another are the production technology, seminars, extension works, and workshops. They have been organized from time to time to discuss the potential of sweet sorghum in the country. These participatory technology demonstrations at the farmer's field were also established 
to facilitate technology transfer among farmers in the countryside. Consequently, Department of Agriculture has supplied sweet sorghum seeds to many farmers who had earlier undergone training in sweet sorghum cultivation and processing. Research collaboration between ICRISAT, Bureau of Agricultural Research, and Mariano Marcos State Universities on testing and improving sweet sorghum cultivars were done. It identified appropriate sweet sorghum cultivars for different agroclimatic conditions and commercialized sweet sorghum stocks as feedstock for bioethanol and vinegar production and its grain for food and feed in the Philippines. Therefore, we conclude that sorghum is a foreign crop introduced in the country and there are only a few growers of it. Wide range of use can also be associated with sorghum including bioethanol production, vinegar, sugar and flour production, and also feeds for animals. With small arable land allotted for sorghum production, we can increase our produce through government projects including germplasm collection, implementing production technologies, plant breeding, and most importantly, extension works. It is also good for the government to further intensify the projects for sorghum production since there is a great opportunity to increase the income of the farmers through this crop.